She is delighted to be here as a second speaker of the evening. After her icebreaker speech, she will share her experience during the first four months of her stay in the United States. Please help me welcome, oh, I get this wrong of course, Bienvenida Noelia Suarez. President P.T. Smith, fellow Toastmasters. When was the last time you were a hero to somebody? I remember vividly two heroes in my journey when I moved to the United States. And even though I don't know their whereabouts, they're still in my heart. My name is Noelia Suarez, and as many of you already know, I arrived to the United States when I was 19 years old with $1,000, a suitcase, and a three month visa. I didn't know anyone or I didn't even speak English. After three months, I had to leave the country because my tourist visa was expiring. And I was told taking a cruise to Bahamas and Puerto Rico was the best thing I could do. And that's exactly what I did. It was a great trip. But when I came back home, I found my only suitcase at the apartment, at the door of the apartment that I was staying. And I'm like, what's going on? So I knock on the door. My roommate was inside. He would not open the door. I kept knocking, but no luck. Clearly, he kicked me out. I was in awe. I was, why? He's, I was working for his brother right before my trip, and he owed me money for the job. He was not going to pay me, and that's probably why he kicked me out. I was penniless, because that's all the money I had, and I was homeless. Mm. I grabbed my suitcase and I went downstairs, right by the condo hotel where I was staying. I was thinking, what am I gonna do? I have no money, I don't know where anyone. Where am I gonna stay tonight? There was a pool and some chairs, and I was thinking, Sleeping by the chairs right now is the best thing. I don't have any, any place else to go. As I was standing right by the driveway, I see a guy coming. And this guy, I met him the day before. And he saw me and he felt like, let me ask you something. I'm sure that was in his mind. Are you okay? What's going on? Why do you have that face? I guess my face was speaking. And I said, the truth is, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I don't remember what he said, but I do remember him coming back from the hotel section of the building with a key. And he said to me, here, I just paid for a whole week in one of the rooms. You can stay there. Unfortunately, I don't remember his name. But I will call him my hero number one. I had one week to find a job and a home. And I was on a mission. I found a job in a nightclub, giving away flyers. Remember, I didn't speak any English. I was making right there $10 an hour. I felt so happy. I could buy milk and cereal. And I ate for a couple days that, and I saved some money. One of those nights that I was working there, giving away flyers, I met a guy. He was also giving away flyers. We started speaking, but his situation was completely different. He was an architect. He had a real job, and he had a home. We started speaking, and he said to me, 
so where do you live? I'm like, I live a few blocks away from here, right by uh, South Avenue. Oh, okay. And I'm like, well, but the truth is I'm looking for a place to live very soon. I need to move. And if you know of any roommate that is looking for, I mean, any person that is looking for a roommate, please let me know because I need to move. He looks at me and he said, well, I live by myself and I have an inflatable mattress. What? That was music to my ears. I was really? Again, this guy didn't know me. That's Victor, my angel number one. Number two, I agree to stay with him with one condition. I will pay him rent until I find my new home. I wonder what would have happened to me without these two heroes in my life. Going back to Argentina was not an option, especially feeling like a failure. From that moment, I decided to dedicate my life to help others, and that's what I still do today. It's a privilege for me to know I can make a difference and be a hero in someone's life. And like David Bowie said, we can be heroes in someone's life today. Back to you.